Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for my lovely Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We're going to get into the tarot cards. Once we've done with that, we will get into the oracle cards. If you guys can hear a sound in the back, I am so sorry you guys. It is freaking freezing and I have the heater on. <laughs> so anyways, how are you doing Leo? I hope you guys are doing amazing. Happy Valentine's for all of those of you guys out there that celebrate. Let's get into your reading and see what's coming towards you for this month of February 2021. Now, your first card here is the Nine of Swords, a bit of worry. We have the Death card here, Transformation coming in, Page of Coins, Message Communication, Five of Coins, okay. Interesting. We have the Tower. Wow. Major energy here, Ten of Coins manifestations coming through for you leos out there five of cups okay and the ten of swords okay all right leos let's get into your reading so we can see here the nine of swords right underneath uh, sorry right above the tower card so i feel that for a lot of you guys um you have already experienced or will be experiencing in the month of february a bit of endings here i see for some of you guys this could be a situation where uh if you're dealing with a relationship or a partnership things have not been going good for you guys and i feel that for some of you guys with the nine of swords there is a lot of a lot of worry here uh this could be because in a way you're kind of sensing that there is an ending some type of conclusion that's happening you've outgrown this relationship or this situation for those of you guys dealing with people from the past what they're telling you here with the tower card there's going to be some type of communication that comes out some information about your person or person of your interest um page of coins could represent a, a message that's been long in the making so for some of you guys this could be news about a person that you've been dealing with for quite a while where there could have been some type of connection some type of dealing with this energy and it's almost like someone walked away from this connection or there was there's currently no communication someone walked away what i'm seeing here with the five of coins this could be your energy leo or this could be the person that you're dealing with uh it is a general reading however i do see someone walking away and feeling like you were left out in the cold or feeling like they were left out in the cold. They didn't expect, um, they didn't expect you pulling away or you didn't expect them pulling away. Um, however, with the death card, what they're telling you here, Leo, is if there is friendships, connections, relationships, things that are coming to a conclusion. If a person walked away from you, and you've been hoping or wanting to hear from them what spirit is telling you it's time for you to let go of that energy okay um i see you guys holding on i see you guys really trying to put effort trying to make the situation turn around uh with the tower here though i feel that you've been dealing with this type of energy for quite a while um and it's kind of like we continue to put effort and energy towards a connection or a relationship where the other part or the other counterpart is not trying to put any effort is not they're just not appreciating what you're doing and at this point it's like spirit is telling you whether you're ready or not leo i'm going to shake up the situation to clear certain things that you don't know or that been happening behind the scenes that you're not aware of. Uh, with the Ten of Coins, for some of you guys, it could be news that came to you about the person that you were dealing with. It could have been that they were either in some type of partnership, some type of commitment. For some of you guys, you may be dealing with the person that is committed, meaning that they are married. Um, with the Four of Cups here, I feel that for the majority of you guys, you weren't aware of this situation. Um, for those of you that were aware, it could have been like under false pretenses, like, yeah, we are legally still married, but there's nothing there. We've been separated for a while. We've been living in the same home in the same dynamic, um, but we're not involved. And I feel that they 
either misled you or they were completely bullshitting you. With the Five of Cups, this is you really either mourning the loss of the relationship or having to deal with the chaos that was left behind. Uh, Ten of Swords here. So you have two major cards here. You have the Death card and the Ten of Swords. Leos, what they're telling you here is it is time for you to embrace this new beginning. Embrace the ending as well. Should you continue to try to fight for this connection or should you continue to allow this person to keep coming back around, you're not going to be able to move forward in a positive way because I see you guys dealing with the same type of energy and I do see them coming back trying to communicate, but it's almost like they're promising you things that they're not able to give, that they're not ready to give. Um... There is, I see a lot of confusion here. I feel that for some of you guys, this could be a situation where this information, for some of you, you already know about it. For others, you will be seeing this unfold for the month of February. But I see you guys being like very confused, like not knowing whether to believe whether to this could be rumors as well that are coming to you but i feel that you guys are heavily doubting or questioning the authenticity of that information that is being given to you let me get some clarifications here okay we have the lovers and the king of pentacles yeah so I feel that uh, this is highlighting the five of coins here. There was a person or partner that you were dealing with that left you out in the cold deal, that walked away or that is not communicating. There could have been some blockage as well. And you were left wondering what exactly happened with the lover's card and the king of pentacles. This is a person that is committed or has been committed. This is a person that perhaps... There was some type of temporary uh, pulling away from the relationship or trying to work towards fixing it, but they weren't honest with you. It could have been that they portrayed themselves as someone that is single, as someone that ended some type of relationship, some type of partnership. Um, but then with the tower here and the death and the ten of pentacles, um, this is information that's coming out. This is the universe showing you why things have been i see you guys like really confused like i hear you guys questioning things are not adding up why did they pull away why are they not communicating with me why this why that and i feel that while they were dealing with you it could have been a situation where they were trying to fix their relationship as well so it wasn't and I don't want to sound horrible, but it's almost like they were trying to fill their downtime because the person uh, that they've been partnered with or the person that there is some type of commitment here um, was not making it easy for them. For some of you guys, this could be dealing with the person from the past that's coming back around. It could have been that they tried their luck in another relationship and it just doesn't work out. They're coming back around trying to offer you, trying to give something to you. Almost like, um, I promise you I've changed. I promise you that I'm going to, you know, do this, do that for you. But they're coming in with the page of coins. They're still not able to offer you the stability that a knight or a king would be able to offer. Now with the lovers here and the king of pentacles, for clarifications, the king of pentacles always indicates to me a person that is committed. Um, so that could have been the reason why they walked away from this connection. This could be the reason why they're coming back because it's not working out in that committed relationship. Um, with the Ten of Swords here, you got to let this go, Leo. 
let me get clarifications for the Ten of Swords spirits. Can you guys clarify why this Ten of Swords is here? Ten of Swords. We have the Two of Swords. Three of Cups. Third party energy. Four of Swords. So here's what I'm sensing. For the month of February, you may be dealing with the person from your past, someone that out of the blue pushed you out of their life or they decided to block you, no longer deal with you, out of nowhere they're coming back around. And the truth is that they were in a third party situation. They were dealing with you and dealing with someone else. They were hoping or wanting to restore some type of stability. It didn't work out. They're bored. They're coming back around trying to communicate with you, trying to promise you, but they're not really offering anything. With the Two of Swords, you're going to be left feeling like you're stuck and not being able to move forward. You will start to know or understand that they were dealing with options here. And with the Four of Swords, there is um, a moment of not communicating or no longer dealing with them again. So it's a recurring type of energy here, Leo. Spirit guys, please clarify for me this page of coins. Why is this page of coins here? Why is this page of coins? Yeah, what they're telling you here, Leo, it's time for you to embrace new beginnings. See, with the death card, there is transformation. Transformation, a new beginning that's coming towards you that is much more stable, a person that is much more better suited for you. The tower is realizing or coming to the realization something exploding something coming out up in the open being able to see or hear about the third party that they were dealing with okay clarification for the page of coins why is this page of coins here nine of coins you need to embrace this ending leo it's time for you to go back to working on yourself or focusing on yourself. The Nine of Coins is the singlehood card. It's time for you to feel comfortable in that to be able to move forward with the Six of Swords, moving to calmer waters, to clear waters. The Moon, listen to your intuition. I feel that you guys have been ignoring your inter intuition or have been having this feeling of things are not as they seem and the truth of the matter is that they're not. They're not as they seem. And you need to get to a point of understanding that in order for us to embrace new beginnings or in order for us to get towards the stability that we're looking for or aiming for, it is important to close certain chapters in our life to be able to write a new one. Okay? I see you guys like very much in your heads about this individual or this person or this energy that you're dealing with. I see you guys confused, wanting to get clarity, and the clarity will come to you in this month of February. Things are coming out in the open. Be ready, Leo, because I feel that you're going to be hearing about it, or you're going to be knowing, or you're going to be seeing certain things that were kept in the hidden. Let's see what Spirit's direct message is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. In regards to the situation that they're going to be dealing with for the month of February, Spirit's clarify for me what is the direct message that you have for leo sun moon rising venus for the month of february 2021 all right leo your first card here is inner peace inner peace is when we are in a situation where we feel that we are dealing with a lot of chaos there's a lot of confusion cloudiness of mind uh feeling uneasy because we don't know exactly what's going on, but our intuition is telling us that something is up. What they're telling you here is find your inner peace, Leo. Get out of your own head. Let things unfold the way they're supposed to. Your next card here is purification. Purification is that of transmutation. So again, going from chaos and confusion to 
finding your inner peace, to finding your strength, to finding your power, to no longer allowing other people to have such control over you or have such effect on your emotional on your emotional side. This is kind of like when you are interested in someone or when you are committed to a relationship, you give it your all. And that is something admirable. But when it gets to the point of feeling like you have to self-sacrifice your happiness, your peace, your state of mind, that's when we need to pull our energy back, Leo. That's when we need to focus back on ourselves. That's when we need to make ourselves a priority. Your next card here is blessings. Blessings that are coming towards you. Things that are unseen. Things that you may not be aware of. And again, with the death card and the ten of coins. Yes, there's endings that are coming. But these endings come with blessings. Why? Because they're bringing to you new beginnings. They're bringing to you blessings. They're bringing to you stability. So don't resist these changes. Whatever it is that you're currently going through, that you feel that you're confused, that you feel like you're too much in your head, have faith. Have faith and let go of control and let things unfold because spirit will show you what you need to know. All right, my lovelies. I hope that this gives you some type of insight. I hope it gives you some type of clarity, some type of strength. And uh, I want to wish you guys happy Valentine's. I know this is a difficult reading. But remember, you're the creator of your life. You are what decides stays or what goes. Make it the best you can for yourself, sweetheart. All right? I wish you guys the very best and we'll see each other soon. Bye.